I got a tip from one of your boys. Yeah. Heard it's been rough since graduation. You went through a breakup. Potties by Ryan. Potties by Ryan. Dude, yeah, there's private investigators in Syracuse. Have you ever thought about being a personal trainer? Uh, I used to teach kickboxing class. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, ladies, kickboxing. It was the best. Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> Ty Bo Ho. Are we on? <laughs> Are we cooking? Oh, it's going. Oh, nice. I didn't even say anything bad. <laughs> why, is, why is Kellen laughing? Does she listen to this? Huh? No, she's fucking playing Sudoku or something. She wants to stop playing Sudoku all day. She's like I've a noticed that. She's like 80-year-old lady. She's sitting there in, like, lace leggings. She's, <laughs> she's playing Sudoku. Last night, I was, like, pissed drunk. She, like, picked the show for us to watch and doing Sudoku the whole time. Like, You're not even... <laughs> Mom, can you Nothing's, fucking get Nothing worse than when the lady picks the show and gets on her phone, dude. She's lucky uh, that it was a show I wanted to watch or I would have lady kickboxed her. Yeah. Dude. Nice. But she did put on the bear, kind of sick. Season two, behind. I seen that. <laughs> yeah, every time I grow up, we watch yeah. that, and I just <laughs> can't stop saying corner and behind. Corner, yeah, <laughs> nonstop. I tried it for a couple episodes, and I got caught saying yes, chef to everything. Yeah. And I was like, I'm done. Yeah, it's not good. I She's like not it. happy about it, it's but it a, is a good show. It's a Sopranos reboot. Just a sad Italian guy that's obsessed with it deli is. meat. And every he's one of those guys that like draws you in. You're like, is this guy ugly? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. The, He's like hot Albert Einstein. That's yeah. what that guy looks What's like. What's the shameless guy, yeah. I do like that they put, like, all those retarded tattoos on everyone that's a chef. They're like, this guy is the worst tattoo. Yeah. They all do. <laughs> guy can make the fuck out of a quiche. It's so annoying seeing a guy. He's like, I'm in the kitchen 24-7. I sleep and come to work. And then he's jacked. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Not, when's Dude. this happening? No. And then I dick. love that, like, they acted. Did you see the new season? I'm two eps in, so don't. Okay. Yeah. Did he? Huh. Does anything well, happen things... outside the kitchen? Uh, yeah, there's, like, shit outside the kitchen. Well, okay. I, do, I do love, like, anyone who's ever been in the food industry, they act like they served in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, if somebody asks for an order of mozzarella sticks, and there's, like, helicopters going by, <laughs> and the guy's like, no, you it's know. just taking me back. Fortunate like, son's play. You got yelled at by a mean Swedish guy. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Dudes wash dishes in their own house and just have flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> like, no! Get Turn down! And stabs his wife with a fork. <laughs> Get a spork in your thigh. Yeah. It is a good show, but I, dude, I'm I'm into it. I'm a big. I, my problem is my fucking my memory is so bad. I have to like get a full. I almost have to watch the entire show over again before I watch episode one. I'm that way with books, season. dude. That's why I couldn't read books because I get like 50 <laughs> pages in and be like, I don't even know what happened. Before I'll read this an dude. entire page and I'll be thinking about like tits or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I was thinking about like a bum fight I watched. I realized. Yeah. I, I realized I did a whole chapter. I'm like thinking about crackheads. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. Like, I bet that lady. He would suck dick well. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing my English. Suck dick well. Yeah. Dude, it's tough. The crackheads. I was just yelling at my neighborhood. <laughs> what? What did I say? No, dude. You're a machine. I love We're this. Fucking back, baby. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm too used to, used to podcasting by myself. So I, I just don't even think anybody's I've there. I've noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> we went from the bear to the crackheads. And I'm in for all of it, too. Like, all rules. Cook, Keep going. Cook, let him cook. <laughs> let him cook, dude. I had two energy drinks this morning, and I got a fucking Starbucks, uh, whatever this is, iced coffee. I've been around nothing but people on energy drinks all weekend, and I've just been tired as hell, and it kind of <laughs> rules, dude. Just, it, like, picks me up. You so feel much. like your own shrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I in an alternate reality right now? <laughs> what did I say those were? Al yeah, alternate reality. Al yeah. Alternate, yeah. These yeah, are yeah. 3D glasses. That's yeah. that fucking spider version. reality shit. distortion field. Who was talking about that? Somebody Tony was talking Stark. about it. <laughs> I hate Tony Stark. Is that Iron Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. <sighs> Why do you hate him? I don't know. I don't like superheroes. They're so gay. <laughs> I just went... The, I, I, pussy. I want to fucking start a, like, a superhero movie and I'm just a sniper and just shoot them all in the <laughs> face. They're all dead like first episode. Naeem said the funniest shit over the weekend. It was like, if superheroes didn't have their superpowers, they would be ass. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like if they just yeah, had the mentality of it. He's, he's, like, he's like, yo, you ever see the Hulk throw punches? He'd be like this. <laughs> I would beat the shit out the Hulk. <laughs> Hulk's had that dog in him, dog. He don't got like He's critiquing the porn. He's <laughs> critiquing the, the Hulk. Hulk every time Naeem talks, I'm like, how? Dude, it was how the have Hulk. you survived? <laughs> like, the Hulk and Ant Man's form were getting critiqued heavily. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Ant Man be mad small, then he get big and punch. He's like, how you do this, bro? How you do this? I'm, whole like, point of the movie. I'm like, that's his whole thing. What are Yo, you talking about? These porn stars in that big dicks, they couldn't fuck this <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. They got it, though. Dude, All right. It's yeah. literally, you could say that about anything. He's like, yeah. Yo, if this car ain't even have an engine, Boom. it wouldn't even be fast. You're like, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course it wouldn't. Oh, uh, he's fucking out of his mind. That guy rules. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fuck. I, uh... Yeah, dude, the crackheads in my neighborhood. <laughs> back, back to it. <laughs> what I, do, I just come out... I just talk shit to them now, like, openly. I'm, 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 like, this close to punching one of them. Are they, like, lucid, or... 
I mean, every morning I go up, but like, I'll go wake up for work and they'll be like out front, like leaning over. I'm like, wake up. Bro. You, guys got, you guys got a busy day today? No? Shocker. <laughs> Just like every other, every day's just Saturday. Those guys are on island Damn. time all the time. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking fire. Dude, it's so funny to be a David Goggins to a homeless guy. <laughs> just like, hey! Gonna carry hey. the boats! <laughs> Burn the boats! We got, we got back from Turks and Caicos. I went to Turks and Caicos, not bragging. My lady paid for it. And uh, we get back, and there's this fucking guy. The, the big move is they take the cage off of the shopping carts. So they can move appliances with them. Have you seen this? No. This is a move. And Wait, why guy, not just leave it on wheels? I, no, it's on the wheels. Oh, but okay. they take the cage part off the top so they can like put something on. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so it's, the guy had yeah. a refrigerator and he's pushing it and he stops at the corner and I'm like, dude, what's the deal with the fridge? I'm like, get the fridge the fuck out of here. He's like, I'm not gonna leave it there. I was like, you left it there and walked away. I was like, get it the fuck out of here. He's like, of course I'm not gonna leave it here. That's an idiotic question. I was like, dude, it's midnight, and you have a broken refrigerator on a shopping cart. I'm the fucking idiot? God. It's supposed to just take you on your word. <laughs> yeah, right? Dude, I saw I'm going to start bear spraying homeless guys. <laughs> That's what you should do. I saw a scrap truck trying to pr uh, pick up a fridge the other day, and it was too heavy. They were holding up traffic. They got out in the middle of the road. He's like, one second. And then him and his boy were trying to lift this fridge, and they couldn't get it in the back of the truck. And then they just got back in the truck and drove away. It. That's sucks. Yeah. You can't... You you gotta, yeah. You, you gotta be strong enough to move a fridge if you're gonna be a scrap metal. It was guy. pretty embarrassing too. Like ten cars behind them honking the horns, oh and they're God. just like, I can't, I can't lift scrap it. Scrap metal guys are the funniest guys though, because I just like, I'm like demoing shit in my house. So every time you go to like a junk metal yard, you just see the coolest guys. There's like a guy pulls up on like a fucking Toyota Scion yeah. that's like pristine, but it's full of like, like 400 canes. pounds of tools. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he's got like, yeah, pool cues. He's got like canes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. like the craziest Where shit. are you from? <laughs> it always like, has like 20 slinkies. Yeah. <laughs> they always have something and they always think Slinky. it's like, they have like a new business plan they're coming up with. Like they think they're going to crack the code on like these retro radios are coming back. I'm like, brother, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, dog. Yeah, yeah, it's over. What can you do? What it's fucking do? hot up here. It is. We're no, cooking. it'll be fine. Don't, uh, don't even think <laughs> don't about it. Don't even think about it. We got a candle over there for heat. That's good. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Gotta, you've been farting it up up here? No, got to do the candle because I got cats. I mean, the whole place is just cat hair and... Yeah, I hate cats. Fucking... I mean, you got to... I like them big ones. What's it? A coon? Coon count? Coon Man -coon. Man -coon. Man -coon. Yeah. Man coon. Man coon. Man coon. Yeah. Shout out Cancun. Shout out to all the listeners in Cancun. My Man girl's paying for me to go there. <laughs> That's next a gay week. island off the coast of Man Mexico. Coon. Man coon. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking. You got a girl so rich, you get to be on Bomba Clot time. Dude, I'm fucking. I'm fucking dude. I hope that when we Pass have this kid... Pass me the jerk chicken, mate. I, she's like, I hope this kid's really good. I'm like, I hope it's bad so I can quit my job. Oh, just yeah. be a stay-at-home podcast dad. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that Dude, would I'd rule. be living. Mm. Yeah, she'll take care Get of you. Get a side piece going. Got to. <laughs> Got to. Yeah, Turks and Caicos stunk. Real. So expensive, dude. Like, it's really nice. That's what I was like. It's called Turks and Can't Go Back No Mo. <laughs> Too nice. goddamn expensive. Okay. All right. Turks and Can't Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm killing me cook. <laughs> my dad humor, I'm ex now that my baby's on the way, my, my swag's different now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm full dad joking. I'm getting more homophobic, though. <laughs> the valley's <laughs> coming in nice, dude. Come on, brother. Yeah. Dad belly? Oh, yeah, you're trying to get fat as shit, yeah, aren't I'm you? I'm trying to get fat. I'm like 240 it, pounds. I weighed Jesus. myself yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> a unit. Yeah. Grow out some mustache. You're almost fridge weight. <laughs> yeah, how much is a fridge? My Uncle I Bobby, I seen him pull up a, pick up a fridge one time just by clamping it. Like meat on it. He just fucking did it. It was the craziest show I've ever seen. He's got eight kids. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nuts. Shout I don't think Uncle ten Bobby. of you need a big fridge for that. Ten of you could easily pick up a fridge. I, you, you would carry it like ants and just put it on your <laughs> just go to a picnic. It looks like a ant with a, like a colony of ants with a leaf. <laughs> That'd be the greatest moving company of all time. That Ten Jameses. We you could only move stuff within the neighborhood. We basically we use the piggyback method. <laughs> How many Jameses does it take to move an oven? Have we done that call yet? I was at a picnic and I'm getting carried away by ants. <laughs> no. No, yeah, who do you who do you call for the picnic? Pest control. <laughs> I need somebody to get out here and spray these guys. <laughs> Called picnic supplies. <laughs> oh, Do you have any ant guys? This is Ricky peanut butter jelly. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm being abducted by insects. This is RPJ. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. I, Andy, I'm so excited you're back. Foster. I'm happy to be here. Dude, Dude, I'm happy to be here. on asked for him to be back. And, Thank uh, you. Whatever retard out there. <laughs> I mean, God bless you. Yeah. Uh, oh, Respect. speaking of the Patreon, me and Drew are about to do a 1v1 basketball match on the Patreon. <laughs> That's oh, coming soon. It's Who's winning be, that? Can you play basketball? I'm going to uh, cook him, dude. 11-0 Lynn Sanity. Have you um, ever are you seen wearing Drew? the clogs? I'll wear whatever he wants, dude. Did you see clogs came out with slippers now? They're going to be my new dress shoe. Have you Crocs? seen this? No. They're cl- but they're open to They look like a clog. Okay. Birkenstock-esque. I thought that's what Birkenstock. Danish people wore. <laughs> the Danes? I hate the Danish. The, the are they wood, wood? <laughs> wooden pointed shoes like fucking elves? Yeah, those are wood, though. You need right? wooden shoes, dude. Yeah. I'll do You put If you buy them. I'll get you I need insoles. Shoes. You know the Anki. <laughs> F the axle. Yeah. Can I get doctor? That's what we should do. Let's call like a podiatrist and be like, I need inserts for my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> for my wooden shoes. I love the Dutch. I have wooden Air Force Ones and I need some doctor soles. That would be tight. I got, <laughs> I got wood <laughs> high tops. <laughs> Yo, call. There's a lot of homeless people in my neighborhood. I need a boot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like You're handing out splinters in fish town. <laughs> could you? Could someone whittle me a pair of Air Force Ones with a bat on the toe? <laughs> with a small Louisville Slugger, Tootsieville Slugger, baby. Let's it's go. Tootsieville Slugger. <laughs> I would. I would be into that. Hot damn. All right, I feel like the operation's nicer than the last time I was here. We, we got a couch, out. dude. You do have more shredded <laughs> office chairs. Cats are dude, the Peloton was here last time you were here. Yeah, what happened to that? Huh? We fucking made a bag on that. <laughs> you <laughs> traded for that guitar? <laughs> <laughs> we got a box of kitty litter and a guitar for that Peloton. <laughs> What's the conversion rate on that? <laughs> uh, it's fucking, uh, one Peloton gives you about half of what I paid for it originally. Mm. Dude, the hotel I was at was so nice. They had two Pelotons. Yeah. Like, Is that who you sold it to? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I, I flew it down. I took it in my carry-on. <laughs> Sorry, this does not fit. Well, it's a Peloton. I bet it doesn't fit. <laughs> Put that baby away first class. You want to talk about heavier than a fridge? That thing weighs 9,000 pounds. Oh my god, what a whore, too. You're on like the fourth floor. I mean, when the people that bought Not it. Not to dox you. No, it's fine. The people <laughs> We're that in bought the penthouse. It, the people that bought it, they came and got it, and I was like. I'm not going to help. Lesbian like, couple? It was two girls, and I was like, I'm oh, not helping, dude. just to be clear. We were driving home yesterday before I went to the show <laughs> last night, and there was this lesbian lady. She had, like, first of all, she had the uh, Black Lives Matter fist up in her window. White lady nice. with, like, crazy hair, and she was fucking up parallel parking, and my my girl <laughs> yelled out the window. She's like, why don't you stop protesting and learn how to park? <laughs> Rosa Parks. <laughs> Shout out Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rosa Parallel Parks, man. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's awesome. You need a racist, power, powerful girlfriend. You do. This is very important. They're big, dude. I like I like a, a lady that uh, acts liberal around her like gay lady friends, but then oh, you could yeah. you could it's talk. Yes, queen, and then she calls you the bad f word. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's more homophobic than a hot chick. Yeah. <laughs> they will hit you with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I've learned switching for gay people. <laughs> I've learned that Puerto Ricans hate black people more than we do, and it's unbelievable. Oh, it ain't even close, <laughs> brother. They boat raced us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all empanadis and then words, baby. You're like, whoa. Did <laughs> so I say empanadis? Empanadis is nice. Empanadis. That's my girlfriend's middle name. <laughs> Jody Empanadi. Ooh, I like that. That's like Julia Gulia. <laughs> I think I'm going to name my daughter Empanadi. <laughs> Empanadi Foster. That's nice. Sounds like a dessert. That does sound delicious. It's like a creme brulee. <laughs> you ever had a creme brulee? Big That's fan. the one they flame it up with it and it gets the crust. I never had one. I don't like anything with fire I'm not on it. I'm a dessert it. guy. Love a dessert. Fried chicken, count me the fuck in. Me and Zach went to uh, Foga de Chow, said it was our anniversary. Free creme brulee. Bunch of faggot of chows. You know <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how you doing? It's Bobby Devin Nash. Hello? Bobby Devin Nash with yeah. Devin Nash Fitness. Okay. Yeah. What are your uh, What are your family members actually called? They got uh, They bought you three free personal training lessons with me. Are you struggling with weight gain or weight loss? What are you looking to do? Oh wow. Okay. Who Who bought them? Uh, I mean that's confidential. I can tell you when you come in. Yeah, bodies by Devinesh. You get three personal training lessons. Yep. It's like a BBL, but it's BBB because we do it the hard way. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. This is funny as shit. But uh, no, I mean that's just uh, that's Don't be insulted. Yeah, it's somebody that cares about members. you, huh? Uh, I would say it's a close. It's a close family member. Yeah. Are you? Well, but they didn't say what the deal was. Are you trying to put on weight or lose weight? We we maintain it. What are we going for here? 
This is the funniest shit. I don't know. Because I, I usually, really I, spe- somebody, I specialize in like. You have to this, or this is just a good, like, marketing campaign. But it is. Oh, it it's is, dude. I, you know me. Bobby Devin Nash doesn't quit, brother. I was actually, I no, just got yeah, out of tech stuff. school, and they were like, you're a natural. I was going to, I used to sell yeah, cars, but now good. I sell fitness. I sell the dream. It's bikini season, so, like, I love now. it, man. I love it. Yeah. Look, if you I heard you're, like, expecting a kid, right? What? Yo, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, they told me, dude. Because they want you to be a healthy father. This isn't like some joke. I can bring everything to your house. I got a sled. I basically, I don't know if you're, I heard you're like a funny guy. So I stand on the sled, you push me around, and I kind of insult you for motivation. (laughs) Yeah, who is this? Bobby Devinesh, brother. Who else would it be? BBD. I have no clue. Body by Devinesh. Are you in or are you out? You're fucking good, man. It is good, I, dude. I think you think I'm it's in. my first square dance? You're in. What days work for you? In, what days yeah. work for you best? Uh, I really can't tell. This is joking now, but this is good. I I'm on vacation right now, bro. I'm in. I'm in the where DR for the next week. So. You're at where? A DR. A DR. Dominican I'm in Republic. Florida. Dominican Republic. No. Don't pay for any of the ladies down there. I've seen some tick wild TikToks on there, brother. Uh, tell me. <laughs> tell me about hey. it. But, okay, uh, the only I'm burn you want is from that bicep head. burns I'm going to give you. You don't want no burn when you pee, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? I appreciate it. Yeah, well, give me a call when you get back. Well, I'll save the number. All right, brother. Good talking to you. All right. Body by the yeah, day. Later. later. Fucking knew we'd go for that. Body by the <laughs> day. <damn>. Later. <laughs> Was that good? That was unbelievable. Yeah, we'll put it down. I forgot we were on a podcast. Dude, when you, <laughs> when you mentioned his kid, his fucking heart Dude, dropped. What the like, fuck? He thought, it was a, he thought it was just a cold call until you said that. He like, He's like, what is this, a marketing thing? Or, you were like, yeah, I know you got a kid coming. He's like, what? What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Also, how did he not know it was you? Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> it's me. He's like, he's like, he would never think I would call him and do that. Dude. That worked. That was way funner than Albert Davis would have been. Yeah. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even text him about it. We just no. got to post the clip. I'm going to post it. He's going to be like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. He's on vacation right now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're trying to wait for weight loss. I specialize in glutes. <laughs> So, no. you try to lose? Bodies by Devin Escher are good. It's like a BBL, but we get it the hard <laughs> it's way. It's the funniest call ever. <laughs> Dude, it only works with somebody like yeah, you Gary. Gotta so get, you Gary's need somebody like, who's jacked. He's like, and, yeah, he's like, <laughs> like somebody said I need to lose weight. Yeah. He's like, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. The oh. tail end of that vacation is going to be brutal. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to kill his girlfriend. <laughs> She's like, babe, where do you want to go for dinner tonight? He's like, 3,001, 3,002. <laughs> Just doing setups all he's night. He's going keto on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that rules. I'm so glad he went for that. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, awesome. Fuck yeah. Uh, shout out the Sharpster. Dude, shout out to the Sharpster. <laughs> Gary, I'm going to be a girl dad too. I had to do it to you. <laughs> also, you were the fourth guy. You had to pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. oh, that ruled. We had to get all the way down I to the G's. I can't wait to post that. He's going to be like, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I get to get the full rail, you know? Put him on, dude. All right, cool. let's, uh, let's do a call. Stella, so we'll share. We help you. Hey, is this uh, the diner Stella's? Yep, I'm Hey, how you doing? This is John Fetterman. Um, I'm coming in there today to set up the Winter Wonderland. Um, just making sure everything's ready on your guys' end. We're bringing the snow machine down around 1 p.m. Who is this? John Fetterman. We're do- I'm I'm from Christmas in July Industries. We're doing the uh, we do every year at Stowe's. We do the oh the Christmas in July. One second. Okay. <laughs> We're running late. <laughs> he, said the, he said the freezer wasn't running. Hey, is your freezer running? The snow's melting in the truck. <laughs> Who have you previously talked to about it? I spoke with the manager at Stella's the other day. Um, I mean, is the freezer's running because the snow is melting in the truck. So we either got to turn these snow machines on and get them pumping or uh, get some get some cold on these things. You know what I'm saying? We do the Christmas in July every year at Stella's Diner. Fucking bitch. I could hear she wasn't having it. I think she hung up and then clicked it. You want to try another one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to get this cooking. This is all I got. Thank you for calling Kelly's on 
Boulevard, this is Libby speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Libby, this is Jonathan Fetterman. I'm with Christmas in July. Uh, we're coming down to your location to set up the snow machines uh, around 2 p.m. today, just making sure everything is set to go on your end. Um, Just give me one moment. I'll connect you with my manager, okay? Okay. Thank you. Our lunch club card. Hi, thank you for holding this, Matt. I'm manager on duty. Hey, Matt, this is Jonathan Fetterman. I'm with the Christmas in July uh, company. We're, we got the snow machines in the parking lot. And Are, are your freezers on? Because the snow is melting. I know we're not supposed to start pumping snow out until around 2 p.m., but, uh, yeah, it is hotter than expected. Do you, do you think this is totally <laughs> Boulevard? Yes, yeah, so I spoke with Libby earlier. We're supposed to do the Winter Wonderland. You guys do the Christmas in July every year. We, we're the same You're people. That... For the torch run? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we're um, we're trying to come in there, and uh, just in, like, your front lobby there, we're going to put a couple snow blowers, um, just get some snow pumping around. Um, Santa Claus is going to come in. We do it. We did it last year, too, so I, I, I'm sure it, you're Matt, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I met you last year. I was there last okay. year. Um, and this was and this is for tomorrow you're talking about? No, this is today, brother. 2 o'clock today, we're going to get snow pumping around in that lobby. No, yeah, no, I was not aware of this, but we'll make oh, it happen. Shoot. We can help you. All right, man, yeah. Apologize. No, that's great. Um, okay, so, so two Santa, today. Yeah, Santa Claus should be in there. Um, if he's not in costume, you should probably tell him put that on because he looks like himself. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so I just don't want people questioning why the hell is the same guy crushing tenders that's now kids are on his lap. You know what I mean? That'd be <laughs> wild. Um, okay. Yeah, and then just like make sure the ramps are set up from. Um, if you could, just get the ramp set up, and then we'll fill those with snow. Um, I don't know what to expect this year, because our guy that does the long jump, he's a little injured right now, so I don't even know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's like, and, uh, what did you want me to set up? A couple of ramps. Ramps? Uh, yeah, for the skiers. We're going to... like did one drop ramps off? No, I thought... All right, I'll bring... I'll, yeah, no, I'll bring... We don't have any ramps. I'll, I'll get a guy on that. We'll get some okay. in there. Um no worries. I thought, for some reason, I thought, because we did the, were you working there in uh, December? Yeah, I've worked here for the last 10 years. Yeah, we did We did the 4th of July in December this year as well. So, um, the fireworks and all that stuff. At Tully's Boulevard. I believe so, yes. I, I, East uh, yeah. one three. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one, man. Yeah, we've been doing it for the past 10 years. We do the, um, I mean, it's not a ton yeah. of fireworks because they're, like, they're probably pretty illegal where you guys are at, so we try <laughs> and keep those under wraps. Um, but the snowblower and all that is good. I know you guys love snow up there. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, maybe I just haven't been in the kitchen. I haven't been on the day that you've been here for when you've done the actual snowing. But, okay, yeah, do, we just don't have any ramps on, but I'm here to help, and we'll get it done. All right, cool. Yeah, so uh, I'll I'll talk to Santa, uh, make sure he's cleaned up and ready to go. Um, okay. We'll get. Was is there anyone in there allergic to slippery birds? Not that I know of, no. All right, good. Because the penguins, uh, I don't know if we're gonna bring them inside yet or not, but. Okay. You know, all right, uh, Matt, you've been more than a help, and uh, I'll be I'll be inside, and uh, you got an extension cord. Yep. All right, yeah, get those things ready, and uh, we'll get the snow pumping, and it'll be a good time, brother. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. I mean, give that, give Matt a race. Yeah, you <laughs> should be the Ten owner. Ten years of service, like we'll be in there. He's like, I'm good. We just, <laughs> we just don't have the ramps. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> you should. I thought you were gonna say like, get a folding table and take one side of the legs off. <laughs> no, when he's like, when he's like, did you drop the ramps off? I was like, is that your only problem with this? Is that the only thing that's holding us back? Like company, that's a five-star general in Tully. So we've been turning your restaurant into a winter wonderland for the past like, ten years. He was like, I might have been in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't think idiots. anybody would have been like, there's a guy doing long jump in the fucking lobby. <laughs> Some guy just did a 60 foot. <laughs> he fucking shot a gap over the fucking building. Uh, oh my god. Doing the Winter Olympic in the booth. Yeah. Damn, I'm happy we got that guy, dude. I love, the first I've been two here for 10 suck. years. I might have missed it. I might have missed the long jump every year. Could have been in the kitchen on the deep fryer. That's the funniest thing ever. That was the best excuse. <laughs> that guy's tall until he dies, dude. God damn. Damn. Shout out to Matt, dude. You want that guy on your team. 
Yeah, no, that guy rules. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I want to call should, him back and apologize before Gary Sharp, dude. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's call him. Uh, let me let me call Tully. He's be like, hey, I'm the quad guy. <laughs> We're doing the race outside. <laughs> We're actually the getaway driver for the firework guy. <laughs> what an asshole. Fourth of July and December. <laughs> doing fireworks right before New Year's. Year. So I'm also, we're doing, we're doing Christmas in July and it's June. And they're like, fine. I didn't even think about Sorry, that. what times are you in? <laughs> I didn't think He's like, I must, have just, I must have missed the meeting. <laughs> He's like, I'm a manager for 10 years, but I just missed every meet for the last 10 years I wasn't filled in. But you can come in and just bring snow <laughs> machines. You're absolutely coming in and fucking ramp off You're some like, shit. <laughs> He's like, like, How <laughs> big is this dresser? Slippery bird. Not that big, dude. I've been in there. <laughs> dude, you gotta go meet that guy. I wanna go meet you that guy. need a picture dude. with him. Yeah, next time we're up there, we're going to Tully. Oh, Tully's God. rules, dude. We're bringing it in. What is one. it? It's just like a, like a, just a bar, bar food. <laughs> yeah. They have really good chicken tenders. Dude, I fucking love some tenders. Best tenders I ever had was at fucking Trump Marina in Atlantic City when I was a kid. Yeah. Trump Marina? <laughs> I was like 14 years old. Did he make them himself? I fucking hope he did. <laughs> Dude, they were delicious. They indicted me. <laughs> did you see that video? And you're an impression guy now. <laughs> that bad at it. That was good. <laughs> Run that back. Let me see. <laughs> they indicted me. <laughs> So funny. He fucking rocks. Yeah. I really hope he just starts touring as a comic. He should, dude. He'd be so good. That would be sick. Oh, my God. him He would sell out helium for like 19, 19 I was say, years. Yeah. Oh my He's God. bigger than that, dude. Yeah. No, that like guy's going helium. to the link. Yeah. <laughs> like helium into a set. Trump could do the link. Yeah. He could do it probably four nights in a row. <laughs> Taylor Swift did it, what, three days? He could have a residency there for like two months. I would open for him. Dude. Trump at Helium would be so fun. Mr. Young doing security that night. Like, I mean, damn. <laughs> What's with the butters? <laughs> you look like a ticket with the butters. Trump just becomes a roast comic. Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> can't say it. Where are the couples? <laughs> you, I love what you say. You beca- Where's the pussy? What do you do for work? Pussy? Poor. You're poor. <laughs> poor losers. All of you. How are you getting better at this? Already? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta piss. Alright. Hello, Bookson. Hey, what's up? How are you? So well, how are you? Good. Yeah, this is Frankie Discspin. I'm a DJ. Uh, I'm trying to book a time. I'm trying to come in there and, like, play a set uh, in the bookstore. Uh, I do, like, experimental, like, uh, EDM, like, That's uh. Good. That would have to be a question for the owner. Um, he's in on. He's in. Wednesday. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely trying to do a set way before Wednesday. Like, I could come in tonight or tomorrow, maybe. Um, when's your busiest time? Because I want people in there reading, That's and and I'm going to turn my speakers as loud as shit. Uh, I'm doing, like, post-punk, uh, steampunk. That's a question for the owner. You need to speak with him the soonest as Wednesday. Okay, I can go ahead and bring my gear in today, because I've got, like, I've got the turntables and, like, these big uh, Bose speakers. Um... I'm going to be bringing my posse. I'm sorry, I really can't help you. You would need to talk to the owner. And like I said, he's in on Wednesday. Are you like a a music fan at all? Because I'm like the 12th highest rated DJ in northern New York. This is Frankie Discspin. You still there? It's <laughs> completely ignoring her. It was on to the other. Do you like music? It's like, anyway, I think the women's in. I'm not waiting until Wednesday. I promise you that. I need the DJ now. <laughs> I got the itch to spin. <laughs> you ever just felt it? <laughs> Trying to just scratch a fucking disc in there. That sucks. Just bullying a lady into doing a DJ set? I don't want to. <laughs> I'm playing steampunk. There's gonna be clocks and steam everywhere. I want you in the mosh pit. <laughs> I need you moshing, lady. Just one person moshing. God, keep forgetting the microphone. God damn it. It's all good, dude. I just like love you- the idea of like a book, like a library. People are just like reading. <laughs> oh, like you know, Eastern philosophy, <laughs> and then just <laughs> you know, unbearable <laughs> feedback. I'm not bad at that. Mm. Makes God. it worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. 
But yeah, I haven't been to... She'll go to bookstores sometimes. I'll go to those. But I haven't been to a library since the fucking 70s. I tried to go to a library the other day and print something out. And they were like, you can just email it to us. We'll bring it to you outside. I was no, like, do you not trust me? To- I got it on a floppy disk. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's just to bring it outside. Yeah. What do they got? Quick pickup? You ever see that for like people at the oh, fucking yeah. food store? They're like, go to spot. What oh, spot yeah. are you at? 26? I'm like, how many people are printing shit? Dude, I print, I print in those spots all the time. I'm like, I fucking dare you. Them in handicap spots. I'm like, fucking yeah. silly, dude. Yeah, fight me. There's literally no retarded people coming to Wegmans today, dude. I'm going to take this spot. No, they're all at home. They got church yeah. today. Retard church. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Did y'all ever? I, w- I would go to the library as a kid and crush those I Spy video games on the computer. Oh, my oh yeah, God. I, that. So I was you a big. Think I can't find four <laughs> gooses. <laughs> I was an Oregon. I was an Oregon Trail man. Oh, Oregon yeah. Trail rule. I was a kid. The Carmen San Diego game rule. Just giving rule. your kids diphtheria on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weighing down the wagons, <laughs> slowing the wagons down, dude. <laughs> Fucking killing me. God. That was a. Uh, you guys remember the game Life, the board game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, dude, I always loved when they fucking they said you had a kid in there. I was like, I got pussy. <laughs> you had kid. Yeah. <laughs> that's always what I claimed. <laughs> I got life pussy. I spend it, got a kid. I was like, that's pussy. <laughs> that rules pussy every time. Yeah. <laughs> I can't ima- imagine them fucking little figurines on the board. <laughs> Yeah, the thing about, like, the board game life is, like, even the worst case scenario is not that bad. Like, you're doing okay. You just die. Yeah. <laughs> your kid's 50 grand. It's never yeah, like they're you're always like, you're a you're... loser. You're a teacher who makes 60 grand a year. Yeah. Your mom died and your dad hits you. And, uh... No one ever, like, forecloses on anything in the game of life. <laughs> you have became addicted to crack. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you own an apartment. Ooh, Boo. you six guys. Yeah. <laughs> God damn giving you options but they both suck it's like do you, do you want to suck off a guy or do you want to suck off six guys or do you want to get gang raped <laughs> in a sauna <laughs> i keep trying to read that flag but it says alabama yes sir yeah roll down i need to get glasses dude i'm so blind those things that look good on you dude. that's your style for show yeah for show thick for show thick lenses i want to get those fucking pervert glasses you know when they get like those uh the tortoise shells yeah uh, that's what i need nice those, thin those aren't far off dude those are perv glasses. I look perverted? No, I'm saying, like, most people do in those. Not you. Oh, yeah. You look like a superhero, dude. <laughs> yeah, they look like dude. Like Clark Kent. <laughs> I, were you a superhero? Were you a Superman guy? That's Clark Kent. No, right? I always no. thought he was gay. Superman, I like Marvel Superman. shit. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you know, it got to have been so hard. You can't change in a phone booth. Do they still have phone booths? I haven't seen a phone booth since the 70s. Then we're shooting the show from a phone booth right now. That'd be sick. We should just do make one this, from a phone booth. Just make this a phone booth. Fucking. No, when you guys do a live podcast, you guys are in phone booths and the audience can't hear you. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> That's a great idea. Phone booth. <laughs> Just our writer for the show is we need like 90 quarters. <laughs> we need, we need, <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. This thing is operational. I was just talking about those. Remember you would get the collect call cards uh, so you could call oh, yeah. from the payphone? I had them when I was a kid and there was a commercial where the guy was like, you could be like, you have a collect call from, and it's the guy in the hospital. He's like, it's Bob. Had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> you only have like one second to just, say your name. And you just do the whole everybody. message. Yeah. The best. <laughs> Run, use it up all my anytime minutes. Damn. That was the best. Man, when you said the pay, it was like thirty five cents to send a text message. I would just like text my boys like tits, and my mom's like, I racked the, the bill phone up. bill is three hundred dollars. Yeah. No, it was saying un- slurs to your friends on your fucking <laughs> unlimited your nights, dude. Yeah, you had to wait till eight p.m. to call your boys faggots. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was the worst when girls had to call. Like you had to call the girl's house to talk to the dad. Oh yeah, put, you put your Megan slut on. daughter on the <laughs> yeah. phone and then drop her off at the movies. Yeah. <laughs> and pick me up also. I'm grounded. <laughs> no, I would make I'll ladies. Meet you at the I would make ladies call me. I was like, I don't want to talk. That's to what you. my Tell mom dad, would dude. be like. There's a whore on the phone for you. Oh yeah, or she called them hussies. Hussies. <laughs> Yeah, my that was like mom language for cum dumps. Hussy, hussy. It was also when every phone was like on the call at the same time. Yeah, my sister would be talking to her friends, You'd and be I would just jerk it off like, in the bathroom. Like, Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you hear something? <laughs> Show us your tits. <laughs> Hold That's a nipple wish. against the fucking phone. Yeah, rub, rub your nipples <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> fucking, I'm getting fucking hard as hell. Uh, that was the best. <laughs> Rub Find a pool in the woods. The- <laughs> Put a nipple through the phone. <laughs> nipple through the phone. <laughs> Who was that? So I used to think that's how it worked, dude. I, th- I used to think you could fart through the phone and somebody would get That would be so other. sick. If they yeah. figure out that science where I can fart, <laughs> that's what they should do. You should be able to text someone to fart. <laughs> 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 fucking blast your group chat with the fucking nasty ripper. <laughs> Elon, get on that. Enough with the fucking Teslas. <laughs> yeah, dude. Then Cyber truck gay, gay dude. <laughs> yeah, Give me I a need fart, a fart text. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs>
How can I help you? Hey, how you doing? Are, are you, do you, does anybody there specialize in ferrets? You got a ferret guy? We don't, unfortunately. Yes, we don't sell them. Um, and none of our associates You don't, have, any you don't sell any ferrets? No, we don't sell them. And then our associates don't have oh, any. Oh, I just need, to, I need to rent one. I like for a couple of days. You guys all do that? No. Because my girl, it's my girlfriend's birthday and she loves, you know the Slave for You music video, the Britney Spears video? With the snake, mm -hmm. she's dancing. I'm trying to do a recreation of that, but I'm petrified of reptiles of any kind. You know what I mean? She loves them, but I'm figuring if I could rent a long ferret, it'll look snake-like over my shoulders. I've been working mm -hmm. out for like 12 weeks. I need this. You don't know yeah, any. You'd have to... What no, else? Do you have any other? You'd have to use Google. Do you have a long? Any other kind of long animal? A raccoon, maybe they got tails. A possum. No. What about, like, uh, you got, like, a long eel? How long can they survive? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Terrified of snakes give eels? <laughs> I thought it was already a pig. I was like, a long I do, animal. I do love this song, though. It's so funny. She's like, we don't have ferrets. Like, I'm looking to rent one. <laughs> You're like, perfect. I didn't want to buy anyone. Anyway. <laughs> sell it. Perfect. Give me a call another fucking Yeah, I'm trying to paw on a ferret. <laughs> Lisa speaking. Hey, how you doing? It's Davy Crockett. How are you, Lisa? All right, how are you? I'm good. Do you have anybody that specializes in ferrets at your store? Or any kind of varmint, really? I need a long ferret. A long ferret? Yeah, my, my girlfriend, you never seen the Britney Spears music video, Slave for You, where she's dancing with the snake? No, I, I mean, I kind of know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so she she loves that music video. And it's her. She's going to her bachelorette party this weekend, so I'm shooting... Like a spoof music video, but I can't do a snake. I'm petrified of reptiles of any kind. You know what I mean? Maybe frog, <laughs> but that's an amphibian, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking to rent a long animal I can drape over my shoulders while I dance with it, but I only need to rent it for a couple of days. So I was assuming, what's the longest ferret you have? Well, no, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't just rent one out. Mm. How much is a ferret? Like ballpark. Mm. You don't got to give me, do they go by weight? Per pound no. or whatever? No. No. Hmm. How do you know? Is it like less than a hundred bucks for a ferret? No. How much more? Yeah. How much is a ferret? Uh, Can I feed them like cold cuts? What's the deal with the food no. situation? No. No. Nitrates. My girlfriend's pregnant, so she can't eat that either. I get it. I've been crushing <laughs> ham sandwiches for like three months. But um, yeah. So she's trying to get this bachelor party done, and I need this ferret yeah but they're not gonna they're not gonna rent it to you and then take it back from you my brother loves I'll tell you that right buy now. It. Oh, okay well i'll just buy one and then how long do they live they live a long time <laughs> long time so my brother will take care of it do you think one's long enough to drape over my shoulders or do i need two no because these are babies oh these are babies you got no adults these are adolescents no. how well how, can you train a ferret pretty well can i walk them I mean, They're good in the snow. Them. They're good in the snow. Because I mountain bike, I'd put that little guy in my basket, take him around. Oh well, that I mean, if you got to do it, yeah. I mean, you yeah, can I could do that. that. Are they that smart? They, they're cat, they can. They, they can have a like very cat-like personality, from what I've seen. Almost raccoon. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, but you know, I see cats that play fetch too. So the cats it's a question of how much. Yeah, so it's just I've a question never of seen you know. That. You're pulling my leg on that one. No, I'm not. My daughter's dog. Uh, my daughter's cat plays fast. You said your daughter's dog. Yeah, I got you. I because I had no. Because I had. Because I have dogs. What she kind of dog do you have? Cat. I have a shepherd. Shepherd. And a, a German. And a German shepherd. Yes. Ooh, I love me a German shepherd. I had one. Happy birthday in heaven to that guy. So the ferret. How? They're like 150 bucks. 200. No, they're they're 400. 400 dollars for a ferret. Yeah. That's how much I just paid for rims for my quad. <laughs> yeah, um, four hundred bucks. I guess I could do that. Could we get two? Can I do a black and white? I'll do a thousand bucks. Two hundred for you. Tip. How long is the fur on these guys? You 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 need to come in. You need to come ah. in and just and just see them. I don't get off till nine. What time do you guys close? Eight. Hmm. Maybe I can get out early. I want to specifically deal with you. Will I be dealing with you for the fur transaction? No, I'll be no, I'll be gone. Uh, what time are you out? Six. Six o'clock? What are you doing tonight? <laughs>
No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm taking. I got a baby on the way. What's your dog's name? That's good. Brody. Brody? You're very talking. Is it busy today? I was trying to be in. I was in there yesterday, and it was freaking. It was insane in the end there. I went to the acting. Yeah, it, it it has its moments. Some yeah. Like I now bet. I'm in the middle of yeah. How many parrots do they have like that I can choose from? Um, I think there's about four or five in there. Four or five. So what's that? You said four hundred a piece. Will they do a package deal? It's like two G's for all these ferrets? What can I keep that thing in a cage or like an aquarium? Yes. No, in a cage. A huge aquarium. Are they? Can they swim, ferrets? They can go in water, but you can't keep them in water. I can't keep it on there. What if I have like a floating? No. Like I put like a donut in there or something. <laughs> a pool noodle. Now just now. Huh? All right, you come in, and if you if you're interested, you come in, and and we'll answer all your questions. Okay, thank you. I'll see you at nine. You're Have welcome. All Bye. right, bye. Was that good? That was awesome. <laughs> Just asking a question, then before she answers, asking a different question. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep her busy. Got rims on my quad. I can't stop bringing up quads on here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I talked about quads last time. <laughs> Be there at nine. I'm the one of the four wheeler. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> what time do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, so, uh, you want to try a couple more before we get out of here? Oh, let's fucking. That was that was my favorite one of the day. <laughs> was that good? No, you need somebody you did, that's doing earnest <laughs> responses to everything. Gary Lady. Sharp might have been my favorite call ever. They're not gonna rent them. I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> My brother will take How long do they live? <laughs> yeah, can I leave it in water? <laughs> An aquarium. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, threaten to kill them immediately, because then she would have hung up on me. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Like, How are they with water? I can consider the options. <laughs> <laughs> I love, she had no idea what I was talking about. She's like, I kind of know what you're talking about. The Britney Spears video. <laughs> Is it even her in the video? I don't know. I think I it's Jennifer it. Lopez. It <laughs> <laughs> could be completely <laughs> off. This is Jared. Hey, Jared, this is Hank Fetterman. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Uh, this, are you a private investigator, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to look into a case that I've been doing, uh, digging some dirt up on lately. Uh, I think you might be the guy to help based off of your reviews. Um, do, you, do you want me to start explaining, just start snowballing you here? Uh, yeah, let me know. What, depending on the type of case, I might have to refer you out, but what, uh, why don't you go ahead and... Yes. Uh, so I, uh, my great grandfather was actually uh, Babe Ruth, and I came across some information the other day. I was reading his diary. Um, I believe he killed his wife. So I would like. Uh, I know he's been gone for a little while, but I want to know if there's anything we could do about this, and maybe bring up charges against Babe Ruth. They're in his in his diary. He wrote that he gave her opium and lit her on fire in 1929. I, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna have to give you a call back because I'm uh, traveling to a, a, a bad cell here. I I hear you perfectly. I hear you. Um, can I you hear me? I, I I lost everything you said after uh, uh, Babe Ruth was your relative. Okay, yeah. So Babe Ruth was my great grandfather, and I came across his diary the other day where I discovered that uh, in 1929 he drugged his wife with opium and then lit her on fire and killed her. Uh, and I'm thinking that, uh, I mean, we got it. Someone's got to pay for that, right? And what would an investigator be able to help you out with? <clears throat> I don't know. Don't you? Aren't you the guy that arrests people? Uh, no, we're private investigators, so we we don't have any arresting capabilities. You, hmm. you want to probably talk to uh, the police or the FBI? No, I don't want to get them involved. Um, I think we could just figure this out ourselves. I mean, could you at least like look over this note and then just tell me your opinion and whether or not Babe Ruth killed his wife? So we've been hooked up with our insurance work. If uh, you want to, I can refer you. The guy hit 60 home runs that year. I mean, isn't that a clear cut? I think close the deal right there. Close the case. He did it. Wow, he's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, who we could who we could go after here. I mean, most of his other relatives are dead. I'm one of the last ones, so I don't want to possibly face any litigations for this. I didn't kill his wife. I wasn't even alive back then. 
I would give uh, Amrick a call. A M R I C. Yeah, I already talked. They told me to call you. Amrick told you to um, call me because we're we're doing insurance work and our. So you usually stuff. don't. You usually don't do like ninety-four-year-old been... homicide investigations. <laughs> no, that's not usually. Uh... Yeah, I mean, somebody's got to pay for this. Someone's got to pay. Her name was Helen. Well, if all you got to know, I don't know if that's enough to go on. Why don't you uh, do some research into... Um... What do you want me to do? Interview the guy? He's dead. I gotta, somebody's got to help me with this. I figured you would be the guy. Uh, we're booked up. I wouldn't be able to get to anything... Um, so I, I would say Amrick, if not Amrick, then... Well, I'm not in a rush. He's not going anywhere. We can figure it out whenever you're ready. Yeah, why don't, why don't you give me a call back when you're ready to discuss the homicide investigation of Babe Ruth? Uh, we can do that, sure. All right. Call me back at this number. All right, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Call me back at this number. It's Drew Ruth. <laughs> I don't want to be facing any charges. <laughs> this is Andy Ruth. He's like, I called the cops, and the only thing they could do is arrest me. <laughs> so like, I'm not get, into that. Get the FBI involved. I, love, I don't like, know well, why I thought... can't arrest you. I'm like, can you privately arrest me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought investigators would do more with that. I did just give him all the information. Of, he's like, yeah. He's like, sounds like pretty open and shut. <laughs> yeah. like, you should have been like, should I Venmo you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, do I owe you money for this? <laughs> Drugged her with opium I'll and send, litter on fire. I'll send you $5,000. Dude, Babe Ruth really did do that. Really? Yeah. Mm -mm. He drugged his wife and lit her on fire. And I wanted to... Yeah. Shout out Richard Pryor. Shout out Helen. I wanted to get somebody on the case, but I guess people don't people don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can't do anything about a ninety four year old murder investigation. <laughs> the Sultan of SWAT, you're not into that. This could be huge for you. <laughs> You insurance? could bring down the Bambino. <laughs> He's like insurance PI. Yeah, because they do like if someone like hurts their back on a construction site and the guy's lying, they go to his house and he's like fucking playing disc golf in the oh, backyard. That's <laughs> that guy's job's got to be. You fun. see some guy faking a limp, you're like you're going down, yeah. sucker. Yeah, we gotta call this guy back in a week with an actually <laughs> like, a good where, idea. Be like, where are we at on this? <laughs> <laughs> where are we at on the root situation? <laughs> anyway, I think I got the guy stealing from me. <laughs> One of my cooks put his hand in the fryer, and I seen him using his hands perfectly on Instagram. Guy jerks off every day, dude. <laughs> Ain't no way he's got I'm actually hands. hacked into his computer. Can I face charges for that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. Like saying his hands got burned, and then now he's doing get oh dressed with me Instagram videos. <laughs> yeah, I actually catfished him as a fat lady, <laughs> and he's been jerking off on Facetime for me, and I have all the recordings. <laughs> I got the cup to prove it, brother. <laughs> I got the cup. So uh, cool. This is the best. I love this show. My girlfriend will pick me up and I'll be in too good of a mood for her. She'll be annoyed. <laughs> She'll be like, yeah. shut up. Yeah, they hate when you have fun with your friends. <laughs> yeah. Babe, we got to call Aaron if Bell. We could support each other. They could have a good time, too. Mm. Get her up here, dude. Let <laughs> her make a call. She'll get it. <laughs> She'll get it if she if makes a call. If you guys just watch the WNBA, you guys would have a good time. Yeah. Hello, Mickey's. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, is this the bait and tackle store? Yes. Hey, what's up? Yo, I'm a. I, I just want to let you know, I'm a fish. I'm a grouper, and uh, y'all ain't gonna do shit to me. <laughs> You're a funny guy, man. I'll swim up, take your bait. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. A that, that, I guarantee you that guy beats his wife. <laughs> you can tell by the way. He's um, like, yeah, okay, funny. brother. You're a funny guy. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. He's going to beat her because of that tonight. <laughs> for sure. He's a fucking pussy. Yeah, did you tell that fucking grouper to call me, bitch? <laughs> it's just funny to you. We think this industry's a game. <laughs> we had three guys die last year. My bitch just pulled up. Let's see if we get a bite real quick. I think that was as good as that one's going to get. You can try it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, right. fucking whatever. Just say it's Bobby Guppy. Do you, like, do you, guys, do you guys anything? You think you got anything that can catch me? <laughs> Maybe if I'm drunk. Yeah, try. <laughs> I just think these guys, they got nothing going on. <laughs> that, that guy was furious. Uh, 
Hello? Hey, how are you? Okay. Is this the bait and tackle shop? Yeah. Hey, uh, I just want to call and say I'm a fish, actually, and um, y'all ain't going to do a damn thing about it. Okay. Like, I'm a grouper, so, like, and, like, the next time you're fishing, I'm going to swim up, snatch your bait. I'll jump out of the water and splash your fucking boat. Uh, hold on, because I'm a little busy and I don't understand. <laughs> abort. <laughs> he was Mexican, he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of calls I've had where it's just a foreign guy, I'm like, I'm so clever. And he's like, w I, don't, I don't understand. I don't get English. <laughs> yeah, so my country's in civil war right now. I don't have time for this. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. No, my bad, dog. Oh, my you God. You can catch me. I'll let him fucking... Yeah. Oh my god. Fun. What a time. This was fun, dude. Thanks for having me. You're the man, dog. You're the man. You're the Undefeated man. Undefeated on bazookies. <laughs> Fucking, seriously, check out Foster Care. He's yeah, God bless America. He's got a baby coming and he needs to pay for Yeah, for real. I gotta have you holos on there. Yeah. Oh, I, I think won't be that there. was the last pot. I think I'm done with the garage. It's about to be sweltering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm about to, I was going to put a baby pool in my garage just podcast in a bathing suit. <laughs> All down, dude. <laughs> just chill. Dude, we did that for uh, UFC. I forgot about that. Yeah, me really? and James set up a baby pool in my living room. We watched a fight one time. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking rocks. You I guys are That was an episode of Durag, I think. Yeah, it was... One of the biggest cleanup fucking setups. <laughs> like, so not worth $3, it. $3,000 <laughs> worth of setup for, like, 17 views. Yeah. You're like, yeah. god damn it. Yeah, that one bombed hard. <laughs> the whole commentary was just like, oh, shit, he kicked the shit out of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys forget your podcast. Like, you guys die because you dropped the mic in the pool. <laughs> like, yo, we got any towels? <laughs> I will bring the pool over. We can do foster care from we the pool. We can do that. Hell, we'll yeah. do, we can do it on my sidewalk. Just a lot of kids that just so get so fucked fun. up in the pool. That, that, could be, that could actually be so sick. I'll do Heroin hours. needle pops the pool. <laughs> <laughs> we all have hepatitis. Hell yeah. But hell yeah. Thanks for having me on. You're the shit. Just foster care, baby. Check this shit out. Uh, this is the greatest podcast of all time. We're the best. It's always funner going on a podcast that's better than yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is just more fun. It's undeniable. Yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm about to go barbecue and drink brewskis with my boys. Hell yeah. Yeah. Dude. yeah. You doing ribs? I forgot I had these on. <laughs> <laughs> Almost took them. Uh, yeah, glizzies and hot glizzies and bergs. I got a little uh, sweat on the brim there. It's fucking. We are coming at you live from the sauna. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, Andy, what you got? Nothing. This is the best. You guys rule. Thank you. Uh, shout out Patreon. Shout out to yeah, Patreon. Give these guys your money, dude. We can put an air conditioner in this fucking room. <laughs> yeah. The people on Patreon, we're not giving y'all anything. If you're feeding us. <laughs> you ain't getting fucking, shit. You can come over and uh, fuck my dad or whatever. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the end. Goodbye. Peace.